In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to open a OneDrive zip file in just about five minutes. Whether you need to access documents for work, some pictures you've saved, or maybe a bunch of files you've been sharing with friends or colleagues, understanding how to properly extract a zip file from OneDrive onto your local drive is an essential skill in today's digital landscape. First, let's talk about what a zip file is. Essentially, a zip file is a compressed version of a larger file or a collection of files making it easier to save space on your storage and to share multiple files at once. When you download multiple files from OneDrive, they are often automatically compressed into a single zip file. Although it saves space and bandwidth, you can't use the files in a zip format directly. They need to be extracted or unzipped first. So how do we go about this process? It's simpler than you might think and it all starts on your local drive once the zip file has been downloaded from OneDrive. If you haven't downloaded the file yet, make sure you log into your OneDrive account, navigate to the file or folder you want to download, right click it and then select the download option. It will automatically be saved as a zip file on your computer. Once you have your zip file downloaded and ready on your local drive, the next step is to extract these files so they can be accessed and used. To do this, you'll want to locate the zip file on your computer. This might be in your downloads folder, desktop, or wherever you chose to save the file initially. Once located, you will right click on the zip file. Right clicking should open up a context menu that displays various options. From this menu, you're looking for an option that says extract or extract all, depending on your operating system. This is the option you're going to click next. Clicking uh, extract or extract all will initiate the unzipping process, but before the files are extracted, you'll typically be prompted to choose a destination for the extracted files. This is crucial because it lets you decide where you want to save these files on your computer for easy access later on. You might want to create a new folder for the unzipped files, or you may choose an existing location that makes sense for the type of files you're extracting. After selecting your preferred destination, You'll finalize the process by clicking on the Extract button. This action instructs your computer to begin decompressing the zip file and saving its contents into the folder you selected. The time this takes can vary depending on the size and number of files in the zip file, but is generally quite quick. Once extraction is complete, you can navigate to the folder where you chose to extract the files. And voila, you have successfully opened a zip file from OneDrive and accessed its contents on your local drive. From here, you can open, edit, or move these files around as you would with any other file. It's worth noting a couple of things for a smoother process. First, ensure you have enough space on your local drive for the extracted files, since they will take up more space than the compressed zip file. Secondly, while today's operating systems typically come with built-in utilities for extracting zip files, there are also several third-party applications available that offer additional features and support for various compressed file formats. Lastly, extraction methods might vary slightly based on your operating system, but the principles we discussed today are broadly applicable. To recap, the process of opening a zip file from OneDrive onto your local drive involves downloading the zip file, locating it on your computer, right-clicking to select Extract or Extract All, choosing a destination for the unzipped files, and finally extracting the files. And there you have it, a simple step-by-step -step guide on how to open a OneDrive zip file in just about five minutes. With this tutorial, you'll be able to efficiently manage zip files, sharing and storing, enabling a smoother workflow and access to your important documents and media whenever you need them. Thank you for watching and I hope this video has been helpful. Be sure to practice these steps to get comfortable with the process and you'll be handling zip files like a pro in no time.